Welcome to Cobot. This video will show you how to register your Cobot account and enter your basic settings. You can sign up for a new account via our trial sign up page at cobot.me. What you enter here will determine your subdomain, which is the customizable part of the Cobot URL. For example, if you enter your space, the URL of your homepage will be yourspace.cobot.me. So make sure you choose something that you would like to keep and that matches your current name and branding. After this, you'll be redirected to your new admin dashboard. Next, let's set up your basics. Click Setup, Basic to enter important details such as country, time zone, and the email address you would like your members to see. You will notice that we have added text below, so you will know what a particular field is for. If you see text with a link, this will take you to the guide for that section. Under the Payments tab, you can add the standard tax rate that will be applied to your membership plans, monthly extras, one-time charges, and more. Enabling custom tax rates will allow you to apply varying tax rates to different items. For example, 10% on membership fees, but 5% on monthly extras. Enabling multiple currencies will allow you to use different currencies for resources, plans, and charges. The toggle buttons labeled Net and Gross will display your prices with or without tax. Under Terms and Conditions, you can add your space's terms and conditions for your members. When added to this section, they will be applied across all of your plans as the default terms and conditions. Your members will be prompted to accept these when they sign up. You can format them by highlighting a word or section. If you ever need to make changes, you can edit them here and update them across all of your active members. By doing this, it will prompt your member to re-accept the next time they log into their Cobot member portal. This is what they will see. Let's move on to our next video to learn how to set up your privacy policy and confirm Cobot's data processing agreement.